Okay, hello and good morning. Uh, today our topic will be chapter 46 from Gaiden, which is the organization of the nervous system, synapses and neurotransmitters. I think I'm gonna be making it in three parts. So, nervous system, it has two main parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The brain, uh, the, in the central nervous system there is the brain and the spinal cord. And in the peripheral nervous system, there is autonomic and somatic uh, nervous control from the nerves. So, in the nervous system, it, it performs functions like contractions of muscles and secretion of glands. And uh, in, in these functions, they are uh, receiving sensory information from the external or internal environment and integrating it and producing appropriate response. And it is also responsible for higher functions such as consciousness consciousness memory and creativity so the composition of nervous system it is composed of two types of cells neurons neurons and neurograd cells a neuron it is a basic structure a functional unit and can generate appropriate nerve signals and is an excitable cell so most of the neurons organelles are located in the cell body uh, here are the organelles in the cell body and uh, there are three types of neurons sensory motor inter uh, sensory are the efferent which are going away from the uh, say cns and motor are the efferent neurons uh, mean, sorry uh, uh, sensory are the efferent neurons going towards the cns and motor or efferent neurons are the neurons e for exit it means that they are going away from the central nervous system and then there are the interneurons or the connecting neurons so types of cells there are neuroglial cells which are the sporting cells they are small numerous and non-excitable and can be distinguished from neurons by staining specific proteins and their lack of neural bodies or granules so uh, types of neuroglial cells are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and microglial cells. Astrocytes are found throughout the brain and are two types fibrous and protoplasmic. Uh, fibrous are found in white matter and protoplasmic are found in gray matter. Functions uh, Both types of astrocytes send processes to the blood vessels and they form tight junctions and form blood brain barrier and they send processes that envelop the synapses and surface of nerve cells and this produce substances that are trophic to neurons and help maintain the appropriate concentration of ions and neurotransmitters by taking up potassium ions and neurotransmitters such as glutamate and GABA, gamma amino butyric acid and this is an astrocyte here you can see this is an astrocyte these are the first of radicals and uh, it is clinging to the blood vessels and the exon uh, nerve cell itself okay the microglia are, are the eating cells which eat the debris uh, when resulting from an injury infection or disease and these are the diseases in which the debris is formed and uh, this is the microglia cell okay then there are the leukotechnocytes or shawn cells they provide myelin sheet around the cns uh, in the, uh, the cells providing uh, myelin sheath in CNS are called oligodendrocytes and outside the uh, central nervous system are called the Shawn cells, okay? And they provide myelination and here they are. Okay, so this is the nerve cell and uh, this is a big form of the nerve cell and uh, this is a node of Ranvier and this is an axon and this is the myelin sheet, the white one and uh, 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 impulses travel from one node of Ranvier to the other, okay? This is how they travel. And uh, the myelin sheet doesn't conduct the nerve impulse. Okay, so physiological divisions, they are sensory input division, motor output division in central nervous system. In sensory input, uh, input division, it, it includes sensory receptors, organs or sensory nerves which uh, conduct the nerve impulses and then the motor output division which includes the motor nerve supply to the effectors. Uh, they take uh, the supply to the effectors or the muscles which will provide the action further and the central nervous system or integrative division okay so in the sensory division there are uh, state of uh, which is receptors will detect the state of the body uh, or the surroundings and uh, for example uh, skin eye ears and do different convert different forms of energy into action potentials 
and then there are the sensory sensations which are somatic or autonomic and they come from the entire body surface and from some deep tissues and then there are the visceral sensation which come from the internal organs of the body or glands uh, functions of sensory division the uh, sensory experiences are detected by sensory receptors or organs and uh, immediate reaction or uh, may be occurring or it may be stored in the brain as a memory uh, to determine what to do in the future and uh, then there are this is the system uh, these are the receptors and they are taking the message offers uh, from the spinal cord medulla and pons and some of them also go to the cerebellum uh, and then there, there is the thalamus and then there is the motor cortex so then there is the motor division um, uh, in the motor function of CNS there is the contraction of skeletal muscles and smooth muscles and uh, secretions from both exocrine and endocrine glands and these are the uh, called effectors okay so then there is the motor output division which could include somatic or skeletal motor axis and they control the activity of the skeletal muscles and then there is the autonomic motor axis and control the activity of smooth muscles and glands okay then there is the let's move forward then there's the integrative division of the central nervous system it includes brain and spinal cord and the brain controls sends stores information generates towers creates ambitions and uh, then spinal cord just conducts the impulses to form uh, to and from the brain and generate reflex action it doesn't do anything else so major levels there are spinal cord lower brain or higher brain and uh, in the spinal cord level they are control centers in the spinal cord and uh, they conduct sensory and motor impulses from the brain in the command center and uh, the local reflexes are walking movements reflexes that will draw portions of the body and the reflexes that control local body vessels okay and the lower brain controls uh, subconscious activities mostly and uh, they are medulla pons mesencephalon thalamus hypothalamus and it includes the activity uh, they control the atrial blood pressure arterial blood pressure and respiration and they control the equilibrium by portions of the cerebellum and the feeding reflexes such as salivation uh, are controlled by medulla pons mesencephalon and emotional patterns and wakefulness of the cerebral cortex and the higher brain refer to the cerebral cortex uh, it is the most above and senior most and the last four halves of memory and controls thought processes and functions in association with lower brain centers and uh, otherwise functions are often imperfect uh, we will do the synapses in the next part thank you very much for listening please like share and subscribe goodbye